Well, hello there. Today we're going to have a look at After Later Audio's G and T, also known as Gates and Triggers. Let's check it out. G and T is a utility module used to take gates and turn them into triggers, or take triggers and turn them into gates. Here we have the gate input, and below that a rise and a fall. So with one gate, you get two triggers. Down here we have a trig input, and we have a fall, and then a gate output. And the length of the gate is determined by this very sturdy knob, actually. Very nice. Well, the first thing we're going to do is currently in this Disting Mark IV, I have it set as an attack decay envelope. So what I'm going to do is use the GNT to make a cycling envelope here. Let's take the output from our Disting, which is our attack decay envelope generator, and we'll put that into the zero scope so that we can see what is happening. Then we're going to take the fall output from gates and triggers, the lower fall output, the one with the variable length on the gate, and put that into the duet, which is acting as a mixer. And then we're going to take the gate output from the FSR and put that in here as well. And then we'll take this, oh, let's use a smaller patch cable take this mixed output and put it into this molt, which will be used to trigger gates and triggers, and also used to start our envelope. Okay, so when I hit this, it should start a cycling envelope. There it is. Super cool when it works out, right? We can change the cycle speed by adjusting the gate length. And there we go. Very cool, very practical, very useful. Okay, for our next practical example, we're going to turn the mimeophone into a freeze delay. So you can already do that just by turning the mix knob all the way up and hitting the hold button and adjusting these zones and the repeats and the rate, yada, yada, yada. However, you have to turn it on and off with two presses. That's not what we want. What I wanna be able to do is have it be at 0% and hit this button and have the mimeophone freeze it entirely. This module is going to help me do that. So first, let's create a toggle. We'll take both the rise whoops, and the fall because we want two triggers and mix them together and we'll pop that over here into our hold button and we'll trigger that hold button with the FSR, which has been so useful for us in this video. Okay, so when I hit this and let go, it's only on when I touch it. That's what we want. Perfect. Okay, but to have it do the whole freeze delay from zero to a hundred, that's a little bit more complex. So what we're going to do is take this CV output. You would just run it right into the mix uh, input right here. However, the voltage that comes out of the FSR isn't enough to push it to a hundred percent. So we're going to throw it into this VCA and give it a boost. Okay. So when I press this, it should bring it to 100% and freeze it. See? We hear no change. That was very cool. 
Okay, another practical use for GNT is to create a delayed gate or a gate delay. And to do that, you just trigger the gate and you take the fall output only just the fall output and we can see how that's going to affect this envelope or the delay time of it based on how long we have our gate length and there it is it's a while after i hit it here it's quick all the way down and it's immediate cool that's useful Good for drums. I want to say thank you to After Later Audio for letting me borrow the GNT and for sponsoring this video. If you enjoyed this content, please subscribe to the channel, like the video. It really helps promote the video, which helps promote me as an artist. Also, feel free to visit patreon.com slash easybot and see if you'd like to become a supporter where you can join us in the Discord, have some laughs, and talk about music. Thanks for watching.